Welcome everybody. I'm Sarah from iDesign and today I'm going to walk you through how to get started with the new VEX competition tipping point. But before I dive into the details, just let me give you a quick overview of the competition and how to create your very first team. But don't worry if you already have a team, just click ahead to the next chapter and you can skip this section of the video. Now each year around April, thousands of students come together in the VEX Robotics competition, where teams of students are tasked with designing and building robots to play against other teams in a game-based engineering challenge. And this is where class STEM concepts are put to the test as students learn lifelong skills like teamwork, leadership, communication, and honestly, so much more than that. The tournaments are also held year round in regional, state, and national levels so that they can prepare the teams for this world championship, which is presented by the Robotics Education and Competition Foundation. Now for this year, VEX Robotics competition is called Tipping Point. So the very first step is creating your team, and that can be made up of students in your school, students from the community, students within a youth organization, or maybe just, you know, a group of students from your neighborhood. Basically, anyone who is born after May 1st, 2002, who is earning a credit towards high school is eligible. So a team can be classified as either a middle school or a high school, and there's no maximum to the number of students who can participate on the robotics competition team. But, you know, typically we see sizes of about uh, five to seven students on each team. But each team does have to have a drive team member, programmer, designer, and a builder. So what are those, what are those roles? So the drive team member is the one who operates the robot during the drive control period. The programmer is the one who writes the code that's downloaded onto the robot. The designer is the one who designs the robot to be built for the competition. And finally, the builder is the one who actually assembles the robot together. Now, once you have your team together, you'll have to register your team on robotevents.com because only registered teams are able to compete in the VEX robotics competition. So just to make sure you do this as early as possible. Then you should decide on a frequency for your meetings and have them on a regular basis, like maybe once or twice a week for a few hours, and also develop your team's identity. Maybe choose a team name, create some displays for your pit space. You could design a team shirt, or maybe you wanna create a team cheer song. It's really up to you. Now, before we get into building your robot, let me just take a look at the year, this year's game, Tipping Point, and what it is. So the VEX Robotics competition tip, Tipping Point is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot square field, and two alliances, one red and one blue, which are composed of two teams each, will compete in matches consisting of 15 second autonomous period, and then it's followed by a one minute and 45 second driver control period. The objective of the whole game is to attain a higher score than your opposing alliance. And you can do this by scoring rings, you can move mobile goals to alliance zones, or you can elevate on the platform at the very end of the match. Teams can also compete in the robot skills challenge, and this is where one robot takes the field to score as many points as possible. And these consist of driving skills matches, which are entirely driver controlled, and programming skills matches, which are autonomous and no human interaction. So let's take a look at how to build your robot for tipping point competition. There's only one robot will be allowed per team for the competition. And FedEx Robotics has released the hero robot this year called Moby. However, we're really encouraging you to modify this hero robot to suit your team's needs. But keep in mind in the rules, such as at the beginning of the match, each robot has to be smaller than a volume of 18 inches long by 18 inches wide by 18 inches tall. Now, once the match begins, robots can expand up to a horizontal dimension of 36 inches at any time during the match. You can build it out of the VEX V5 system and it can be built only using official VEX V5 components unless it's otherwise noted in the rule book. They have to use only one VEX 5 robot brain and the V5 smart motors connected to the smart ports are the only motors that are allowed to be used. No more than two VEX controllers may control a single robot during the tournament and there's a limited amount of custom plastic allowed, a limited amount of tape allowed, and there's you know some non-spec screws, nuts, and washers that are allowed too. But please, please, please read the rules and regulations thoroughly before you begin your build. Prior to competition, every robot has to pass inspection. So it's really important that you read those rules and regulations. Now I know this is probably a lot of information for you to take in, but don't worry, you're not alone in this journey and you'll have many resources to reach out to if you're having trouble at any stage of this process. 
First of all, you can reach out to us at iDesign. We'd be happy to help you along the way. And we can help you find your regional support manager who will you know, basically be your best friend as you experience robotics. They can connect you with a local coach or maybe some social media groups that can be really great mentors in your first years. Uh, official registered teams also have the opportunity to ask official rule interpretations on the VEX Robotics Competition's Q&A system as well. Now we wish you good luck this year and may you and your team have a really, really great season.